Hello everyone, my name is Emily Golia. I'm an actor, singer, and creator here in Los Angeles, and I am so excited to introduce you to Curtis Peel from the band Futurist. How's it going, Curtis? Hey, it's going great. <laughs> great, fantastic. I'm so happy to have you here. Uh, before we get started, I'm gonna show everyone a little bit of you guys doing your thing. So that was slow motion. Can you tell me a little bit about how that song came to be and that video that goes with it? It's very intense. Um, yeah, so that's from our second record. It's called Omens. Uh, it's the the opening track of the of the record, and um, that was filmed and shot by my friend um, Jason Ho. He lives in LA, and he's an amazing director and cinematographer. And I basically gave him the song which for me like the whole concept of the song is about it's kind of like uh like bouncing back like you know ha having everything like stacked against you and knocking you on the ground and like basically keeping the faith and like getting back up and like you know experiencing your your triumph and so i didn't actually give him any any direction which is really unusual for me i'm normally very like um very involved in huh. the the, the directing of, of visual images and you know I'm, I'm an animator and a bunch of things myself but I gave it to him and I gave him I just loved his work and I just gave him full you know um you know full control of the reins and he came up with this concept of like getting this fight and getting beat up and then like training with like his like you know his teacher and then coming back and you know it, it just it, it, it is an intense thing because it's violent but yeah. you know it's also like you know it's triumphant in like this you know this this way that kind of parallels with the meaning of the song absolutely wow that's awesome okay so you said you're based in austin did you grow up there um so yeah that's a little complicated because things have been crazy um we formed in new york city um i moved to new york city after college in 2007 and I started the band then, and I lived there for a decade, um, 11 years. I moved to Texas in Austin. I, I grew up in Dallas, but my whole family's in Austin right now. Um, end of 2019, like I, I was already kind of over um, New York and we were able to like get together and tour and play, um, you know, play regardless. But then all the lockdowns and stuff happened. So like we haven't, we haven't been together or played together or had any kind of live show going um, and since, you know, our, our last tour was 2019. And, um, which is okay, I, I finished a record, which is our, our, our most recent record we just released called Year of the Ox. And I finished recording that one in 2020 and we released it, uh, you know last year which is the chinese year of the ox we're in the we're in the tiger now but um so so yeah so 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 basically um uh i'm in austin but nobody else is <laughs> to answer your question uh right. joey plays drums he's he's in he's in la right now uh, josh plays bass he's in philadelphia um we've played with a few different other musicians on the other parts but basically we kind of need like a reason to get together right now in the meantime because everybody's just handling their life stuff i feel that that is the very common in these covid times yeah um you know it's been it's been frustrating that the 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 album omens that slow motion is on um we were going to tour that in 2020 so you know 
like we we released a whole record and we didn't even get to like promote it or tour oh, it or man. we haven't played any of those we haven't played any of those songs live that's what's crazy but we just oh, released a new record yeah yeah so man okay well let's talk about you when so you grew up in dallas when did you get interested in music and realize that like this was gonna be a big part of your life um, I did music my entire life. I mean, I grew up doing piano lessons and stuff like that when I was a little kid. Uh, the church I grew up in, I did like choir and handbells, and I did a lot of stuff like that. Um, in middle school, I did percussion and symphonic band, uh, drum line and stuff like that in marching band in high school. Uh, so, and then I started playing in bands with my friends in high school, like rock bands. Yeah. So I've been doing music my entire life and um, it's always kind of been, you know, something that I've been involved in extracurricular activities as well as school. And then I went to University of Colorado at Boulder and I majored in music, uh, music composition. So I, I've been doing music my entire life. It's kind of hard to say if there's a point. There's not like this moment of like, this will be my path now, It which is all, always was. Well, I mean, credit to my parents. They, they, they supported and they knew that like I, I enjoyed it and they supported that. So, um, you know, as far as like pursuing it, I, I would give a lot of credit to them for being sensitive to that, you know. Yeah, I love that. All right, well, do you have any advice for people who are just starting in the music industry? Like even just like collaborating with your friends and, you know, building a band and staying together for so long? Um, keeping a band together is hard. And if you try to do it, just like a relationship, like romantic relationships, I mean, it's keeping a band together is as much like a romantic relationship, you know, as, as it gets, um, you know, if you try to control it, if you try to like, you know, like you have to meet people where they're at, you know, like, like I said, my, my band is all over the country right now. And, you know, I can't feel bad about it. Like they have their own lives. They have their own priorities, you know? Uh, my advice to musicians is just stop caring about the likes, stop caring about the follows, stop caring about like the streams. Like they don't mean anything. They don't translate to anything. They're good for your ego, like, but it's so short lived. I mean, we're talking like, you know, minutes, like, like what, what matters is like your actual fan base. And like, if you can talk to your fan base directly, you know, it's better to have five fans that you talk to every day and like you you know kind of what's going on with them and they know what's going on with you either create a facebook group or create you know a you know a patreon or use something here with this with this new system here like talk to them directly respond to the comments like make them feel seen and heard and then they'll be loyal to you if all you care about is like the likes and the follows and the streams like it's just a never-ending thing and you'll always end up feeling like nobody cares yeah, that's so true and very good advice. So thank you for that. And I am so excited to have you here on the Phoenix platform. It's just going to be an incredible way for people to find your music, for you to find new collaborators and just have this one-stop shop, everything futurist. And um, I'm going to put all of your links underneath this video for anyone watching now. So you can find Curtis very easily. And yeah, I can't wait to see what's next for you. I hope you guys go on tour soon and that everything. Yeah. Well, thank you. you get to hug each other, that you get to hug each other in person. Yeah, yeah. No, we, 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 because we released this record. And so, like, we're announcing it and like sharing it all on social media. It's just kind of so crazy. Yeah, that's Great. It's been, it's been two years, you know. Oh, my God. But also, it feels like it's been a second. Like, I don't understand yeah. anymore. My, my concept of time is just totally out of whack. It's gone. Yeah. So, oh, anyway, it was really great talking with you. And um, yeah, I can't wait to see what's next. So thanks for hanging. Yeah, thanks for interviewing me. Um, it's nice to meet you, Emily. And I'm looking forward to checking it out more. Yeah, great. Okay, have a great night.